The CGY has never been a popular starter to use in competitive VGC. However, with Water Earth Shifu being such a problematic Pokemon, there are new techs that are being explored for it. And this team did really well in the last Stadium Ladder season. So I'm interested to see how well it'll be able to perform in today's video. This Decidueye team almost reached 2000 on the last Battle Stadium Ladder season. It is a really interesting combination because Decidueye has some really cool niches being a ghost and grass type that is able to do well against Water or Shifu with Leaf Blade, the ability to set up Tailwind, Spirit Shackle that could trap opponents, and Shadow Sink which is really awesome with a pair of Xi'an Pao for a really strong priority attack. Paired with this team is Xi'an Pao to dish out a lot of damage, you have a lot of priority on this team with Xi'an Pao, Decidueye, and the darker Shifu with Sucker Punch. You have the Golden Go with the strong Make It Rain, accompanied by Speed Control with the Icy Wind, Iron Bundle, and the Tailwind on the City UI. The Darker Shifu that can do a lot of damage with the Black Glasses. The Air Balloon Arcanine, which might catch opponents off guard as a really nice pivot option, especially with all the ground coverage. And the Fast Iron Bundle that's really bulky with Freeze Dry Icy Wind support for the rest of the team. And Encore as well to lock in Tornadas into Tailwind and a bunch of other Pokemon into Protect that might be trying to play defensive. If you'd like to check out the details of the team and the creator, they will be linked in the description down below. Ursaluna, Cresselia, Fluttermane, Heatran, or Shifu Iron Hands. Okay, pretty standard team. I'd assume it's Water or Shifu. There are some variants with the darker Shifu on this team. Actually, the situation is really good against this team. Helps out a lot against most of these members besides the Heatran and the Flutter main. So CGI is really good against the standard at least. Okay, that's really good to know. Mm, Golden Go can put on a lot of pressure. I just got to worry about the Tran. The Tran is not easy for me to handle, but I do like my Urshifu a lot. Uh, Urshifu, the CGI doesn't seem too bad, but I mean, just the Flutter main. I just got to get rid of Flutter main as quick as possible. I could do she and pal actually she and pal plus the cdy might not be that bad of a lead here it's awkward generally but i think it's actually pretty good i think i'm gonna try it out and then in the back i like the uh golden go probably gets brought or shifu i like our shifu wicked blow it helps against the heat train i like arc and i intimidate slow things down i'm just worried a little bit because i am bringing three fighting weeks to this team i mean this team has four fighting weeks so Let's see how well it performs. I think this combination is really solid against the team. The Sidui looks really strong in this matchup if I play it well, but the Heatran's the big thing that's got to go. I got to get rid of that Heatran. That Heatran's a threat. Going to be the Fluttermane and Iron Hands lead. All right. Versus my Xi'an Pao and my Decidui. I don't think I ever plan on tearing the Decidui. I think I could probably get a really sneaky KO with a Shadow Sneak plus a Terra Ghost Ice Spinner into Fluttermane. And you know what? I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Uh, I was thinking about like, okay, what am I committing my Terra to? Like if I am going to Terra or Shifu is probably against Fluttermane. And if I can nuke the Fluttermane turn one, 100% worth it. I think they're going to Terra Fairy and just go for a Thousand Gleam. Oh, not the case. Wait, hold on. Does Shadow Sneak just pick up the knockout of Fluttermane? Because this is sort of ruined Shadow Sneak with Life Orb. Yeah, it does. I'm actually very surprised I made that play then. So <laughs> I am able to get rid of Fluttermane immediately. I, I am getting a huge Ice Spinner off into the uh, into the Iron Hands. Maybe they didn't know about the City right there. Good damage on that uh, Iron Hands. Okay, huge turn one. Did they not bring Heatran? There's no way you didn't bring Heatran. Crest comes in. Maybe they have Heatran in the back? I don't know. I'm just going to Spirit Shackle Ice Spinner. I'm not scared of the Iron Hands at all. I'm just going to double up the Cresselia. If they ally switch, so be it. Are they really just letting me get this Ice Spinner plus Spirit Shackle? They're not tearing at all. Spirit Shackle into the Cresselia. Goodbye, Cresselia. What are they doing? I don't know. The defensive plays here. The defensive plays. I can understand maybe not tearing the Fluttermane. If you don't know about Shadow Sneak, but I think, uh, I think like fool me once, fool me twice. Like, I don't know. I don't even know if that line is actually like conceptual. Wait, they, they just refused to bring Heatran in this matchup. I guess they were really scared of water or Shifu. I am darker Shifu. <laughs> uh, this works out. I am going to go for a, a spirit spirit check will knock out uh, leap Blade's stronger. I suppose if I get of iron hands, I think Ursaluna is pretty free. 
I think I'm just going to leaf blade the iron hands and ice spinner. Yeah. That was going to be forfeit. <laughs> this dude just ran a train on their team. It literally just ran a train on their team. I mean, they really did, should have brought the heat tread. I was not expecting that one. <laughs> but we'll take it, I suppose. I don't know. Reggie Drago, Tornadas, Golden Go, Urshifu, Rillaboom, and Mimikyu. Okay. Pretty standard team. I don't remember the exact details about it, but I do remember that this won a tournament in Japan. The Dragon Energy, Dragon Fang, Reggie Drago, the Focus Ash Tornadas, with Icy Wind, the Choice Specs Golden Go, Water Scarf, Urshifu, Rillaboom with Assault Vest, and the Mimikyu is. Taunt, Trick Room, Rocky Helmet, if I remember right. So uh, the question is, what do I want to lead here in this matchup? They don't exactly have the best answers to my Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is really fantastic here. So I do like Iron Bundle or Shifu actually a lot here. It's pretty threatening to them. Just generally. And then I think in the back, I like my Arcanine with the Decidueye. I think Decidueye is really good here in this matchup. The only things I have to worry about are Reggie Drago getting a bit out of hand. I do have a backup Terra with Terra Fairy on the Decidueye just in case for it. I also have to worry a little bit about letting the Golden Go be in a scary position because I don't exactly have the best switches. So I uh, do need their Shifu on deck. We're going to see the Torn Drago lead. Okay. Versus my or Shifu plus the Iron Bundle, which I think is like pretty safe for me overall. I do like just going for an Icy Wind Sucker Punch into the... Reggie Drago because they're probably just going to try to Tailwind and Dry Energy. They might go for the Terra Steel here. So I do like the idea of just Icy Wind and the Sucker Punch into the Drago. I don't think they're going to waste time protecting the Drago. So I think I'd rather just go for the Icy Wind Sucker Punch. If they go for Bleak Wind, it'd be super s smart. But okay, looks like we're not going to see a single Terra. Sucker Punch going to come out into the Drago. That does very little damage, actually. But Icy Wind is going to be able to do a pretty solid amount to the Drago. Dry Energy is no longer a huge factor. The Torn is now minus one speed and gets directed by the Icy Wind the following. We're going to see Dry Energy come out. And as you can see, just not any damage right here. So perfect. Absolutely perfect. I do want to go for Icy Wind here, and I think I will go on the offensive here. The Drago is just in a, such an awkward spot right now. They could go for the Terra, I suppose. But I'd rather just try to Wicked Blow the Drago. Actually, no, it shouldn't matter because I'm pretty sure my Urshifu... Let me double check the Urshifu. I'm pretty sure the Urshifu outspeeds Drago. Yeah, it outspeeds Modest Drago. So unless they change the team to be Timid, I should be able to always pressure with Icy Wind plus the Dry Energy or attack we missed a torn we missed a drago great game <laughs> great game uh, but they chose the icy wind instead of bleak wind so i guess this is still doable they go for a dragon pulse okay they target the iron bundle this might not be awful but obviously it's not ideal we are going to go for a wicked blow tar it down at the drago pick up the knockout into drago so Drago eliminated. Ah, like double miss. Come on, man. At least the Torn didn't go for Bleak Wind. The day before Bleak Wind would have actually been a really awful spot, but since they didn't, it was manageable. Uh, we're going to go out into Arcanine because we do have Intimidate, and I also want a defensive switch. Uh, it looks like we're going to see the Real Boom coming, which is okay here for me. All right. And then I bring out my Hisuian Arcanine, which is the best case for it right here. I want to make sure that I have a way to pressure the. Uh, the golden go with terra water on my arcanine which is why i brought in the arcanine because i think the golden go is just so important to threaten this matchup so just gotta make sure of a few factors they have their two turns of tailwind which is cool i'm gonna go for double protect here on the fake out uh the only way they can really capitalize is by switching out in their shifu which i think is okay here for me but uh, it looks like they're not even gonna go for that so that's perfect i am gonna be able to get a double protect off let's see what they decide to go for it's gonna be the fake out gonna come out into my arcanine and a bleak wind storm into the arcanine as well i think sucker punch should knock out the torn it's a focus ash torn with like no defense so sucker punch with blacklist should be able to pick up the knockout i like the idea of saving my arcanine in the back just in case i like the idea of just going hard into city because don't really want to take a wood hammer really have the intimidate around and make sure i don't take damage uh, against the golden go in case i'm just going to sucker punch the 
Torn, if they go for Protect or Tailwind, uh, smart of them, but I think it's all right here. Let's see. To avoid the Sucker Punch, but let's find out. Bring out the Decidui. Gonna see the Torn Protect, which is all right here, because their Torn is in an interesting spot. We're gonna see Sucker Punch go off and fail, which is perfectly acceptable, and they go for the U-Turn. Okay, they're gonna get to reposition here. Scary for sure, but I think we're okay. Is this Golden Go is my question. It is Urshifu Water. Okay, that's actually really good for me. Because I can always stretch into Sucker Punch into the Torn and Leaf Blade always KOs Urshifu. So I will go for the uh, Leaf Blade or do I want to Tailwind? I could Tailwind as well. They go for Tailwinds. Uh, I think we should be okay. You know, I should be okay. Yeah. I'm going to go for a Tailwind with my Decidueye and I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch into Torn. Because if they Tailwind, we match Tailwinds, which I think is a pretty acceptable trade-off here. And then, hmm, maybe, actually no, I think I should, actually no, I should lock in. I should get rid of this. I don't have to be forced to Terra. I'm going to Sucker Punch the Torn and go for Leaf Blade. They go for Wicked Blow, which is fine. They're probably going to go for Surging Strikes in our Shifu. Because I think I could extreme speed the Torn, but we'll find out. They go for close combat, actually. Okay. Picks up the knockout regardless. Which means my Leaf Blade always KOs. Perfectly fine. Liquid Storm is going to hurt. The problem is they still have Terror with the Real Boom, but I think I should still be good. We're going to get a Leaf Blade off, pick up the knockout on the Earth Shifu. Extreme speed. Shadow Sneak seems pretty good. I think the question is, does the Real Boom double up the Decidueye? I think that's going to be a pretty good question here. We're bringing out our Arcanine. I'm hoping with the Intimidate and enough pressure, we should be good enough here. Okay. You get an Intimidate off in the Real Boom, so it's minus one. I think that the Real Boom should just go down a single target Flare Blitz, I want to say. I think we Terra here. We're going to go for our Shadow Sneak into the Torn. I want to Tailwind. It could Tailwind, but it doesn't really... Tailwind could change the numbers. I'm trying to think. Oh, no, because of Icy Wind. I'd rather just go for Shadow Sneak. Yeah. And a Shadow Sneak, Terra, go for Protect here with Arcanine. Unless they double up the Decidueye specifically, I should be in a pretty okay spot. But I think they do have to really respect the Arcanine. The Arcanine's in such a threatening position. They go for a Terra Day. Terra Water. Oh, Terra Water is actually a lot different than I expected. Okay, hold up. I misremembered. I thought this was Terra Fire, really, boom. That changes the matchup significantly, actually. Oh, no. I misremembered, and now this might be a huge mistake. Okay, Terra Fairy. Oh boy, I'm taking a lot from Bleak Wind and then the <laughs> Real Boom attack is also going to be threatening. This is not good, actually. This is really not good. Okay, we protect. Shadow Sneak, they didn't fake out, so I'm very concerned. Didn't pick up the knockout, unfortunately, into the Torn. Bleak Wind. If we dodge, we're in a good spot, but I don't know about this one. Okay. Oh, wow. We actually took that a lot better than I expected. They went for Woodhammer, but they tarred the Arcanine. Okay. So that's not too bad. They now have to fear Shadow Sneak and Extreme Speed. They're probably going to just protect in Woodhammer, I'd imagine. Woodhammer should probably KO the Decidueye. It's the last our grassy terrain. Hmm. I feel like I have to make some aggressive plays here. I feel like I want to Shadow Sneak Rock Slide. And you know what? I am going to go for it. I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak Rock Slide. Let's see if they make the obvious Protect play or not. Nope. Okay. So Shadow Sneak going to come out into the real. Uh, all right. This might not be too bad still, but we'll find out. Bleak Wind connects with both. The City I survives, which is huge. They got to target the City I, right? I don't think they target the uh, Arcanine. No, they did target Arcanine. They went for the Woodhammer. Okay. Wait, that's huge. It just hit, just hit the attacks. Oh my goodness. 
okay, okay, okay. Wait, no, that's still bad. It's still really bad. As the train disappears, they didn't stomping. I'm, uh, I very shocked here. Let's turn a tailwind. Oh no, I know this is fine. I can shadow sneak the real boom at extreme speed. Yeah, actually, no, this is fine. Did they have someone on this team? I guess maybe they changed the team. I don't remember it being Terra Water. Maybe it was, and I'm just huge misremembering. Mis they protect the Torn, which is beautiful for me because I went for Shadow Seek Extreme Speed because the Torn can't knock out the Arcanine and then I can Extreme Speed afterwards. So as long as I get the KO on Real Boom, I should be okay. I'm pretty sure this Life Orb Shadow Seek plus Extreme Speed should be enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Double Miss Icy Wind would put me in a really much more trickier spot than I thought. I thought I was still okay. Slipped up a bit because the real boom I thought was Terra Fire, so I thought I could just rock side through their team regardless in the end game, but it's not the case. But yeah, Shadow Snake here. Go for a extreme speed in the torn. Don't see Terra. Able to pick up the win. <laughs> Man. This is I actually took the Bleak Wind Storm way better than I expected though. Like wow i was i felt like bleak wind was gonna do a lot apparently i might not have needed to terra i think because if i lived a i lived two bleak winds so if i didn't terra i could have just went for like a, or if i didn't shout sick i could just went for spirit shackle but i wasn't too sure on that one i thought they were terra water they were definitely going to just try to eliminate the uh, decidueye but worked out i guess Fluttermane, Gyarados, Golden Go, Arcanine, Zapdos, Rillaboom. Okay, pretty standard with the double intimidate option. Okay, a pretty cool variant of this. How do I want to approach the matchup? Uh, freeze dry Iron Mono could go really nice. Icy Wind's really hard for them to stop. They don't have the best speed control, but the Zapdos is pretty concerning. I do kind of like the Urshifu Iron Bundle combination. It does look like it would do really well here. I don't think my Golden goes is that best on this team, so I think I'd probably pass on it. Xi'an Pao, not bad into the team. I'm not sure just because of the double intimidate. Like I can crit through stuff with the Urshifu, which is why I'm kind of tempted. I think I'm going to do Iron Bundle plus Urshifu. I think it's a really good offensive combination here. In the back, this is where I'm kind of thinking i really like the arcanine potentially the golden go could also put in a lot of work i do like the the cdy thing and i think i like the uh Hisui and arcanine because i like the rock side coverage for the gyarados i like it for the zapdos and i like shadow sneak coverage i think in the back for the flutter main and also like the, the cdy kind of helps out against like every single kind of gold variant because if it's terra if it's a it, if it stays in regular form, it's weak to ghost. If it's water, I can leaf blade it. So not bad. We're going to see a Arcanine plus a Zapdos lead. Okay. So I'm kind of curious if I can nuke the Zapdos turn off Icy Wind Wicked Blow. I am risking the paralysis, but if I do get rid of Zapdos, I'm in a fantastic spot. Arcanine can't knock out Iron Bundle in one shot unless it's like Choice Band or unless it has the Head Smash attack or maybe like Terra Blast, Terra Grass. Uh, if they tailwind, I could encore it, so maybe it's not a big deal to target the Zapdos, but the Zapdos could knock on my Iron Bundle response. I do kind of like getting rid of the Zapdos here. Uh, if I get rid of these two Pokemon, I think my Decidueye has a much easier time against their team. So I think I'm just going to Icy Wind and Wicked Blow the Zapdos. I don't know if this KOs, but it should do a lot of damage anyway. We are going to see a Terra come out from my opponent, so this might be the Arcanine? Yeah, okay. I don't have Hydro Pump, so luckily it's not an option I had to consider. And now they're actually weak to my Decidueye's Leaf Blade, which is actually really ideal here. So if I can get rid of Zapdos in one shot, that's fantastic. We are going to get an Icy Wind off into the Zapdos and the Arcanine. Decent damage into the Zapdos. I'm not sure how bulky that is. This is Black Glass's Wicked Blow. Should do a very solid amount. I don't know if this picks up the Knockout, though. It does pick up the knockout. That's a really good knockout. No static is beautiful. So we get rid of the Zapdos. And now the Golden Goal is vulnerable. The Fluttermane will be vulnerable later. Pretty good turn overall. Look at that Rock Slide. That did not much damage at all to Iron Bundle. That doesn't put me in extreme speed range, which is what I thought would happen. But yeah, it ends up working out really well. We're going to see the Fluttermane come in. And uh, I'm really liking this spot because the City is looking pretty good as the last Pokemon. Uh, not speed booster on the flutter main. I'm double checking my Urshifu real quick to make sure I outspeed the flutter main. 
Wait. I don't think I outspeed max speed farming with this, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, well. I'm going to double protect here. I'm just going to scout for what they're going to try to do here. I want... Well, Fluttermane can't protect against Urshifu's Wicked Blow. So this is such a weird position for them. But yeah, I will go for the double detect here. Just want to see what they're going to do here. They're going to protect Arcanine. Oh, I, could, I would have icy when Wicked Blow the Fluttermane, if that's the case. They go for a Dazzling Gleam. Okay. I mean, I guess if I miss the... Okay, so what happens if I miss the icy wind on Flutter? I feel like, sure, that's a fear factor. But since I'm up so ahead, I could maybe go for like an on corner arcanine and terra poison wicked blow here which isn't like the worst option i guess that's not the worst option it is probably safer and if they lock an extreme speed it's not that bad either you know what yeah or i could icy win but they don't have anything faster than our shifu most likely so you know what? let's go for the terra poison let's go for the wicked blow and the flutter main if we don't care the flutter main because it's like focus ash or like super bulky Okay, so the Arcanine switches out into the Real Boom. I mean, it's... <sighs> I could have went for Icy Wind. Icy Wind might have been more optimal, but I still think it's probably okay in the long term. I think they're going to have a really, again, a tough time of dealing with the City UI plus my own Arcanine. That's still remaining. So we will go for the Terra Poison here with our... Bigger Shifu Thread, and let's see. Let's see if we can pick up the knock on the Flutter main. We will go for an Encore, which fails. So good switch up on my opponent. Going to be the Dazzling Gleam. Going to be fired off here into Iron Bundle. Does pick up the knockout. Doesn't do that much damage to the Poison or Shifu. I don't know. Is that bulky? I can't tell if it's Specs damage. I don't think it is. Wicked Blow going to come out on the Flutter main. Just picks up the knockout. So beautiful. All right. That's a really nice knockout. And now we try to set up for... Hmm. I do want to go Arcanine here. Because I have Arcanine to come in. I don't know who's faster between... I'd imagine Arcanine's faster than the Urshifu. So... I think I just try to get rid of it. And then as long as the Reelaboom's not knockoff, my Decidueye automatically wins against it. Though I could just flare, but it's the Reelaboom as well. Although I think Arcanine's just the one with the most damage output. Because they can actually do a ton of damage, especially with crit. So I think I just always target down the Arcanine regardless. So Arcanine gonna come in. And luckily, Protect is not that big of a fear factor here. I want to go hard to City UI. They have Fake Out, so I just double Protect here. Their Arcanine is slower than my Arcanine. That's actually really good to know. But what is my speed tier? 128, and the City UI is probably slower than this. Yeah, like way slower. <laughs> so that's unfortunately not reliable, but we will go for the double Protect here. As we get a bit of grassy terrain healing, we get to break this fake out, and then we could just wicked blow their Arcanine. And I have our Shifu and Arcanine that's faster than the Arcanine, so I should be good in the long term. We go for fake out into the Arcanine, and they went for Flare Blitz into Rock Slide. Okay. So again, I have no idea what their. I think I just go hard into the City Eye here. I think Hardened Decidueye is correct, so I can actually flare this to Reelaboom in the endgame instead. Which should be good enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that should be good enough. I'm going to go into Decidueye, and I'm going to go for a Wicked Blow into their Arcanine. Just get as much damage as I possibly can. Uh, save my Intimidate Mon in the back. Also, because I'm not Intimidated, I can actually knock out the threat of the Reelaboom. Uh, this could be Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide, Double Up here into the Arcanine, so I don't think it's worth going for it. Uh, we're going to see Rock Slide come out. Yep. Let's see. They go for Sami Tantrum. They target down the Urshifu. That picks up the knockout. I'm surprised. Oh, critical hit. I was about to say, I did not think that would KO. Okay. So now that we know Sami Tantrum, they can't pick up the knockout into my Decidueye. So my Decidueye always beats the... Always beats the Real Boom. So I think I could just pick up the knockout into the Arc... Nine with extreme speed plus a chalice combination and i don't have to worry about like a crit yeah i think i should be fine let's go for a shadow sneak into an extreme speed i could go for rock slide but i don't think i need the rock slide damage on the real boom at all 
So let's see if this works. If they protect, it just comes down to do they Woodhammer crit my Arcanine. They do go for the protect, okay. If they actually crit me, then I should tailwind it, but I wasn't sure if they would guarantee protect here. I still, I don't even know if they get out of range. I, I'm just not too sure about this because the Wicked Blow did a bit less than I was hoping for. Arcanine does have really good defenses. They stomping tantrum. Oh, they forgot about the air balloon from earlier. Because <laughs> they forgot about the air balloon from earlier. Oh, that's unfortunate for my opponent. But uh, we're going to take it anyway. We're going to go for extreme speed plus shadow sneak regardless. Are they going to try to extreme speed my Arcanine so they can go for stomping tantrum? Which is fine. Because again, I think the CDY beats the real boom 1v1. Yeah, we should be able to beat the real boom 1v1 pretty easily. Even if we are a little bit chipped. I just got to get rid of this Arcanine. I'm pretty sure Shadow Seek and the Extreme Speed should be good enough damage. I'm like pretty confident Shadow Seek should be enough damage. They do go for the Extreme Speed to break my Air Balloon. You know what's crazy about this? Because they failed the Stomping Tantrum the previous turn, they actually get to boost the Stomping Tantrum into my Arcanine. So it will actually come down to the City Wide versus Real Boom Endgame. Uh, I think I think I should have this though. Like I'm pretty sure the City Wide. Like if the City Wide doesn't win this 1v1, uh, uh, that's pretty tough to say. Stomping Tantrum is going to be fired off. There's 150 base power. So even though the real booms at minus two is able to pick up the knockout. Yeah, like the real booms at minus two. I, I, the CDI, I'm pretty sure you're able to pick up the knockout into the real boom. Could have been a different game if they went for the Woodhammer because they would have had to rely on a double protect with Arcanine because uh, if they double protect it and then like Woodhammer puts me in Stomping Tantrum range. Although I'm not sure. Again, they're like minus two. So I kind of doubt it, but definitely a possibility. They go for a U-turn here. Hey, yeah, the CDI is just eating that up. Spirit Shackle here into the real man i remember the gen 8 animations they were so much better than this also actually did i see spirit shack on gen 8 i i saw in gen 7 i loved the gen 7 animation one i don't remember it much in gen 8 but i'm pretty sure it looks better than that i'm pretty sure they go for woodhammer but i don't think woodhammer crit's doing it i actually that did a bit more than i was hoping for they said i isn't exactly the bulkiest but spirit shackle will be able to finish off the uh, real boom from there so and if not, Shalsik was going to be good enough because I did have a former priority. So, very <laughs> a bit closer than I thought endgame wise. We had a really strong turn. Again, I probably could have just pushed the lead with the IC win plus Wicked Blow combination. Maybe I played it a bit too safe, but I knew that I could always trade for the Flutter main, which wasn't too bad. So, it wasn't that bad. If I missed the IC wind, I would have lost both Pokemon there. And I think I would have been in a huge deficit. But. That might have been playing too risk adversive from there. What an aesthetically pleasing team. Hisuian Typhlosion, Brute Bonnet, the Tornadus in Carnet Form, Azumarill with Iron Hands and the Xien Pao. How do I want to perform against this team? So Typhlosion could be scared. I do have Shadow Seek, so I'm not like super scared of it. Uh, the City is actually just really good in general against their team. I like maybe. The City Wide plus Arcanine is actually really good against the team, and I really do like it. Iron Bundle is not bad either, but not exactly too sure. Shampoo is not bad. I like Golden Gold because it's a switch to Iron Hands. I don't really have a good switch into Iron Hands other than the City Wide, and that's probably getting weakened early on in the game, and I really like the Urshif, I think, in back. Shampoo makes my team a little bit weaker to their physical attackers, which I'm not a huge fan of, and Iron Bundle. It's not bad in this matchup. Like they do have a few free strike weaknesses, but I don't have Hydro Pump for the Arcanine and or not Arcanine for their Typhlosion. Not sure how well Icy Wind really benefits me in this matchup because I don't have anything other than our Shifu that threatens the um their fast mons like the Shein Pal, and even then they have Tailwind on their teams. So I don't think it's really worth covering. So let's see what they're gonna decide to bring here. Gonna be the lead of. Okay, Azumarill plus the Brute Bonnet, which this is a really good lead here for me. I do have an Intimidate off into that Azumarill immediately, as well as an Intimidate into that Bonnet. So, good Intimidate all around. I don't know what their Terrors are here, so. I have a few options. I can Tailwind. I can go for Leaf Blade. I have no idea if they're running Crunch or Sucker Punch here, so that's a bit of a concern. I think my best play is just to go for a Leaf Blade here and Flare Blitz. I don't think I go down to Aqua Chat. I might go down to Combination, but they can only tear out one defensively. So let's try it. I don't think they're banned as on this team. Maybe I'm wrong, though. We're going to see a Terra, though, come out from my opponent. So I think it has to be one defensive Terra. We're going to see the Boop Bonnet Terra. Terra Water. Okay. 
They're now vulnerable to leaf blade though from my decidueye, so that's something positive. Is this protect from Azumarill? Oh, no, the Aqua Jet into my decidueye. It's a sucker punch. Life orb. Yeah, sucker punch. But with the Antimnate, I am able to take it just fine. We are able to get a Flare Blitz off into the Bonnet. So we kind of committed their Terra, which is not bad for me at all. I'm also able to get a Leaf Blade off into their, uh, into their Zumero and pick up the Knockout with the Leaf Blade. Yep. So that's still a pretty good trade off because the Zumero is huge threat to my offensive mods in the back. So yeah, definitely not a bad position here. Like their Typhlosion is vulnerable to Shadow Sneak. What's coming in? It's going to be the Iron Hands coming in. All right. So that's what they were trying to build up for Iron Hands. Uh, this is pretty safe for me, I think, just to go out into my Golden Go and probably just go for Protect with my Arcanine. Because I like having the Intimidate still around. I The Golden Go should be a really safe switch in unless they wall charge. But I don't know if they wall charge into the Golden Go. We'll find out, I suppose. They just attempt to Sucker Punch again, the Decidueye, and Drain Punch. Yep, okay, perfect. Really good, really good, really good. And now, a few plays I could go for. I like the idea of just going for... I have Dazzling Gleam. I could go for Dazzling Gleam. It will do a decent amount of damage to Iron Hands. And get the chip into the... Bonnet that I need. Hmm... I don't think it's a bad idea. Or I could Shadow Ball. But chipping the hands could be like really crucial. You know what? I will just, you know what? I will lock in the Gleam. I want to see how much damage this does. Also doesn't give like my opponents really like any good safe switches. And then I think I am going to go hard to CDI. Because this could be Drain Punch. This could be Sucker Punch. This could be Spore into Arcanine. I think all of those make sense. So might as well just cover for all of them with Decidueye. As in Gleam, no Sucker Punch came coming out, so I think it's a Spore here. Oh, Seed Bomb. Okay, really good. Okay. And Iron Hands has taken the chip damage. I won't be able to heal, which is good. You go for a Wall Charge. Okay, they're taking even more chip damage. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now we can go on our Shifu. I can get some pretty big damage into their team. I still have Terra, actually, so I could probably go for a Terra Poison. Terra Poison is actually really good here. I do like the Terra Poison. I think I'm going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. And let's go for a Wicked Blow into there. Do I want to go for a Wicked Blow? In? Yeah, I want a Wicked Blow there. Group on it. If I get rid of the Bonnet, I'm in a fantastic spot because I don't have to worry about like any sucker punch in the end game. I feel that my Arcanine should be able to clean up whatever's it remaining because it's healthy. So let's see. Terra Poison to avoid the Drain Punch from doing that much damage. We're going to see Wicked Blow come out into their Bonnet. It does pick up the Knockout in the Bonnet straight away, which is amazing damage. So goodbye, Bonnet. And the Iron Hands can't pick up a Knockout into my... Or Shifu, which is really huge here. Dazzle and Gleam. Going to be fired off into the Iron Hands. Just picks up a knockout. Beautiful. Critical hit. It was single target Dazzle and Gleam. I did do a pretty decent chunk, so I don't know if it mattered. Like, the worst they were doing is wall charge. Get some extra damage. KOing themselves or drain punching for very little and being pressured the next turn. Let's see what the last Pokemon was. And if it was Typhlosion, I have Sucker Punch threatening, so I, I really don't think it was that big of a deal, personally. I'm going to Dazzle and Gleam, and I'm going to Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch gonna come out, picks up the knockout. Yeah, like they just couldn't beat the Sucker Punch, I think, on their Shifu Dark anymore. So, it was still the victory. Very nice. So, decent turn one. Wasn't the best turn one, but still a pretty solid turn one. We were able to play around Iron Hands pretty beautifully, which was really nice overall. Very solid. And I think that should secure the Master Ball, I think, because I've been playing with the team for a little bit. So, Let's see if we do rank up the Master Ball. I'm pretty sure I do. Like, that was Ultra Ball. So, let me double check. Yep. Reached Master Ball. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Let's go over to games. In game one, Decidueye and Chien Pao lead actually ended up sweeping my opponent's team. 
In game two, double icy wind mist was brutal and Terra Water Reel Boom caught me off guard, but luckily the city I was able to tank the bleak wind storms and do the damage I needed to clean up the final Pokemon. In game three, got a strong Zapdos knockout turn one, putting me in a great spot, but maybe I played a bit too risk adversive with the icy wind to lose some momentum, but would have needed to be extremely unlucky to lose the game. In game four, Group Bonnet was scary for my team, but after eliminating the Azumaro, my darker Shifu with Poison Terror was able to destroy the rest of my opponent's team. Overall, the city might not bad it was a lot tankier than i fought against like tornado's bleak wind storms it was actually able to do quite a bit the only disappointing thing is that the speed factor isn't exactly amazing if you want to commit to having a bit more bulk but overall this job in was very impressive if you do want to check out the details of the team and the creator it'll be available in the description down below you could try out the team with the rental code on your screen and of course subscribe to our channel for more vgc content as always